Hey there, it's Jim, and in this video, I wanted to basically take you through the uh, process of setting up recurring payments in PayPal. So, all you have to do once you get logged in is uh, go over here. Uh, usually, you start out on your overview page. Just come over here to profile. Uh, when you hover, hover over it with your mouse, uh, just go down to My Selling Tools. So it's the same place you would go if you're making PayPal buttons. Um, and then if we just go in and update, and then let's make a uh, new button here. Create a new button. So I just click this link over here. And then uh, let's do... Um, so in the choose button type, what we're going to choose is subscriptions, okay? And then you can just give it a name. Uh, so let's just say member. And then um, we're not going to have any of these drop downs necessary, but basically you can kind of see here it's going to be called subscribe. Um, we can customize the text. So display credit card logo, logos, that's cool. Um, you can do buy now or subscribe, either one. Um, or you can use your own button. Basically, you can just copy the code that's, that they give you for the link for the button and uh, use that with your own button if you want. Um, I won't show you that in this video, but it is possible. Um, now, have PayPal create username and passwords for customers. Now, um, this may be something that you check. It just depends on which membership membership software you're going to use. So um, that's something that, uh, like even with the membership software I'm using, I think it actually, um, I set up the button within uh, the membership software versus coming here to PayPal. But um, for now, I would just uh, leave that empty, and then you're just going to put in you know whatever price you're going to bill each cycle, and it bills every month, and. Uh, it just goes on forever or if you're just doing like a one-year membership kind of thing then you can do you know 12 months um, you can do a trial period so if people join for free or you know join for a buck um, never have people join for free because people give you fake PayPal email addresses and then when you go to bill um, a month later then uh, you figure out that they've got a fake PayPal so um, you know, always at least bill for a dollar so that you can figure out whether they're giving you a legitimate PayPal address or not. And then, um, um, so I'll just turn that off. Uh, and then you're pretty much done. You can do a couple of other things here. Uh, you know, so for example, if you do any sort of upsell, uh, which I don't think we're doing in, in this membership program, but this would be where you come in under step three say take customers to this URL uh, oh sorry not that one uh, take customers to this URL when they finish checkout so this would be like your upsell page um, if you wanted to do that so um, that would be that would be a potential way to do it this is just the straight through PayPal way of doing it and um, once you're set then just click create a button and then um, you'll basically be given uh, the code so this code basically creates this view it creates like a button with these credit card icons on your that you can basically just paste this into your website and then um, you know this button will appear um, alternatively if you've got your own button already uh, you know like you're using a button image or something like that you can just use this email link and this basically takes people to the same checkout page um, but you basically just type you know copy this in as the the link that the button takes people to um, when you've got your own button so hope that makes sense this is PayPal's button if you're using your own button on your website you've got you know your website gives you a fancy checkout button or subscribe button or whatever you can use uh, this code under the email tab so Hope that helps you, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.